Hi guys, this is Vinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss what is the power automate. What is the purpose of the power automate and why and where the power automate is used. What is power automate? Power automate is a solution with the drag and drop facility. In power automate we can create a workflow or we can design the workflow. The purpose of the workflow is to automate the repetitive task and the business process. Repeated task means like suppose a company sends a newsletter every month or like prepare the reports, weekly reports, analyze the data weekly and the generate the reports. So these are the some examples of the task and if this task are done manually then these tasks will take a lot of time and there is a possibility of the errors. But using the power automate tools we can automate all these repetitive tasks. So for that purpose we create the workflow or we create the design. When we talk about the task automate it means we have to create a workflow or design and then system will execute the steps involved in that workflow according to schedule date and time. As we discussed in power automate we create a workflow or we design the workflow. But what is the workflow? Workflow is a series of activities. Suppose we have a task and in a task there are so many activities could be involved. So we manage those activities in a particular sequence. And this process is called the workflow. We can check the examples of the workflow with this diagram. First of all employee onboarding workflow. You can see for appointing employee there are so many activities involved. So we are creating a workflow. The first step, the applicant submits application, the HR department review the data, then HR department forward the application to the next level that is the reporting manager. Reporting manager allocates the assets to the particular department and the manager of that particular department approve the appointment. And finally, final authority approves the appointment. So these are the activities and there is a sequence for each and every steps. So all together these activities is called a workflow. Now we check the next one newsletter in email sending workflow. Suppose a company sends a newsletter to its clients every month. So first of all every month the system is getting content and the system fetching the list of the email id of the clients then it sends that newsletter to all email IDs means all clients and the next step if some clients unsubscribe then the system delete or update the status of that particular email ID or particular client in the database. So this is a workflow step by step again all together it's a workflow. Content approval it means a writer submits his content to the editor and editor has the right to reject or approve that one. If the editor rejects, then editor can mention his commands and return to the writer for the modification. After the modification, editor again can submit the content to the editor and if the editor approves the data, then finally the content is sent to the for the publication. Now why and where to use the power automate? So we have some points. First of all automate process. As we discuss some examples for the repeated task. So we can automate those tasks. That's an important point for the power automate. Power automate is a cloud based solution. It means we can integrate with the other service too and then we can get the notification if there is a change in service data or like we can synchronize the files. We can gather the data from other service using the power automate. As you can see in the example, suppose we want to track the how many people tweet on a particular brand. So we want the, this report all uh, each and every week. So we, then we can automate the process for this purpose. Second one is the set reminder. Power Automate we can integrate with the SharePoint. Suppose we add a file the SharePoint and we want that every user should get a notification regarding the addition of the files. And if there is change in the file also we want other users should be notified then we can use the power automate. Next one is the transfer the business data. 
we can transfer the data through the power automate from one location to another location suppose we have some data in the one drive and we want to copy the data from one drive to sharepoint then we can do through the power automate and we can we can set a process that process will automatically copy the data from one location to another location next one is the connect to data sources power automate can connect the multiple sources irrespective its location it means we can connect the sharepoint dropbox facebook twitter onedrive and many more next one is the automate local task as we discussed some examples onboarding examples sending the newsletter so we can also automate those tasks who can use the power automate in case of the power automate no coding is required so that's why no specific skills is required for the using the automate power automate any basic users can use the power automate and this power automate is being used in the banking retail manufacturing insurance and healthcare and many more industries so guys this was all about the introduction about the power automate thanks for watching the video